enjoying that nice pool weather. It's going to be even better pool weather later this weekend yeah. or possibly good weather to get on a wooden boat, Mike. Yeah, well, normally I would be really excited about warm temperatures on a weekend late in summer, but this one's got a price tag attached to okay. it, and it's a pretty big one. So what we'll start with tonight is the color fuchsia. In fact, we've got a very unique red flag warning. For a long time now, we've been talking about red flag warnings, which is elevated fire danger off towards the east. Obviously, east of the Cascades, it's drier and warmer there like it was in Spokane today. But we now have one that will kick in midday on Friday and stay in place until midnight on Saturday, even for the lower elevations. Basically, what's happening here, and I'll walk you through the mechanics in a moment, is we've got the wind coming in from the north and east. That dries things out. Humidity getting down to about 15% in a maritime environment. Whoa. Temperatures will also get into the 80s and even brush the 90s, but there's also going to be some wildfire haze along with that. You may have noticed that this evening during the sunset. You'll notice it even more tomorrow. I'll show you the models in a moment. Saturday, it looks like it's going to be the peak of the heat and the discomfort. So hot, dry and hazy on Saturday with elevated fire dangers is Lionel was just telling you about even down in the lower elevations, still warm and still hazy on Sunday, but it will start to cool and clear, especially just in time for Monday night and the Seahawks home opener versus the Broncos. Take a look at this big picture of the GO-17 satellite showing you how pervasive that high pressure is. There isn't really a cloud in the sky. Okay, maybe a couple here. It's ruining my narrative, but you see what I'm talking about. It's even taking that marine layer cloud cover and shoving it well offshore. So here's how it looks in a graphical kind of forecast. As we go towards Saturday, you start to see that high pressure build and warm, if not downright temperatures into Oregon and portions of southeastern Washington. But even in Seattle and much of the Puget Sound, we'll see those temperatures bounce up about a good 10 to 15 degrees above where they normally are this time of year. Case in point, Today we are in the low 70s. Tomorrow we'll bounce up into the upper 70s and lower 80s. Saturday, we're talking about the potential to get up into the 80s and some possibly lower 90s. Now the haze may kind of put a little bit of a, a cl cloud on that or a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, a, may tamper that a little bit because forecast models don't really know how to handle wildfire haze. Take a look at this. Friday, 2 p.m., you start to see that offshore flow taking place. That's going to blow more haze up and over the Cascades there, and it looks like it kind of peaks on Saturday. Air quality is going to be, well, dangerous for sensitive breathers. I think for most of us, we'll be okay with it, but if you do have asthma or any breathing issues, make sure you're taking the necessary precautions now. Now take a look at what happens with the wind here. As we go into the weekend, we see that offshore flow, and as we were discussing earlier, as it comes off of the Cascades, it expands. Expanding air is warm and dry, and that's exactly what we're going to experience for the next couple of days. So upper 70s on Friday, upper 80s on Saturday, dialing it back on Sunday, and back to perfect again, just in time for Monday and some football.